Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the uh, Teen Wolf Project Pan update. I had to kind of remind myself of what I was filming. Uh, this was started by Kayla Ensor. I will link her down below along with everybody else doing this. This is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies who I will also link the Facebook group too. And I haven't updated this in like two months. <laughs> But this is relatively on time as far as an update for the date it's supposed to be on is concerned, which shows how long it's been since it has actually rolled over into a new date. Hopefully next month, though, I actually update this on time. We shall see. Whew. Um, anyways, <laughs> I have four empties to show you. First, four... I'll just start at the top of the list, but for the Oni, a black product, I am thrilled to have finally finished this hideous thing. Uh, the last little bit of it fell off. No more rolls up, but I finished the Alley Oop, uh, the black eyeliner part of this pen. I still have the brow highlighter left to use up. I should probably roll that into a different project, but I've actually been using it every day I wear makeup, so we shall see. Let's see, I had a lot of freaking uses on that. Like in the last two months, I have used it 22 times alone. I will have to insert the full number on here as I ain't counting that many uh, tallies right here. It'll take me too long. But uh, yeah, so that feels like it took forever considering everything else in that pen so far has not taken that many uses. But whereas for my brows, I fill them in, or a lip liner, which I fill in the entirety of my lip, I use very little of an actual eyeliner at any one time. So I'm just glad it's done. <laughs> Let's see, next is for Alpha from a bigger or more well-known brand. I chose the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I finally finished that. Its weight went from, I forgot to weigh it. So we're gonna be weighing things uh, in time with this. It went from 77.5 grams to 36.9 grams, which yay us. Whew. Uh, next for Kanima, a product you mix or pair with other products, I chose the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. Just wanted to use it 10 times for this project and I did that. It's now actually in a different project for another 10 uses. And for the Dread Doctors, a newer product in your collection, well, I got it around Christmas time, but I hadn't used it, so I decided to count it. I wanted to use this Essence Blush Lighter 10 uses for 10 times. Like, it says highlighter, but no, it says blush lighter. For some reason, I was reading it backwards and seeing highlighter, but blush lighter, 10 uses. Really enjoyed it. Thrilled to have it. Now, for the like two products I had remaining, or three technically. First for the Wear Jaguar, the Nagul, or a Latin brand, I chose this Besame palette for 10 uses. I have used it, what was it? Four more times since last time. So it's now up to seven uses. So hopefully by next month I will have this rolled out because it has been lingering and it's a very easy palette to work into other looks. I've just been focusing on other palettes. Next is for Werewolf Hunter, a non-cruelty free product. I have actually used this a few times, but it is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. It went from 378.7 grams to 373.4. I've only used it on my feet like twice. Now, I have heard of a type of skincare technique called slugging recently that the person I was even watching used this product specifically, where once you're done with all of your skincare at night, you use something petroleum based to seal it all in. And while the oily skinned gal in me is horrified at the concept, I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't immediately make my face break out into horrific cystic acne, I will keep doing it because I just dip my hands in here. I don't like shove my feet in here. It's not like hor it's not like grossed up by feet or anything like that. And if it works, we shall see. So I really want this gone. I don't think I'm gonna finish it this year, but I have 
If I could start getting proper usage on it, I have a picked up project for it next year where it's either going to be finished or be thrown out. Because this is just not something I like to use. It's very greasy feeling, which it's petroleum based, so... Ugh. And finally, for Liam Dunbar, a product you bought on Impulse, I have just a little bit left of this Kypus Antioxidant Dew Serum. But it was from up here, it was brand new, and it's all the way down to here now. I probably have like a week left on it. So for the four products that I'm rolling in, first for Beacon Hills High School, something that was a high school staple or would have been if it was around at the time. I've mentioned this in other Project Pans. I loved to wear red lips like all the time in high school. I now have a bit more variety. <laughs> so I'm not gonna finish this for Women Who Rock, so I'm gonna throw it in here. It is the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip Color. I didn't write down its weight, but I have it because I haven't used it since I updated that last time. So let's see, how much does it weigh? Yeah, it currently weighs 4.7 grams. So that is where we're starting at. And I really want to finish that by the end of the year. Next for Iken House, skincare from a dermatologist recommended brand. Uh, if, you, if you want to know, this is based off of the asylum for like the, maybe not quite criminally insane, but it's an asylum in the show. So that's where they get the idea from. But I chose the Cos RX Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. I'm not sure if this product specifically is super derm recommended, but the brand sure is. They recommend a lot of their products, so I went with it. So we are starting about halfway up. This is only about halfway full, so hopefully I can finish it by the next update. Next is the Nagits Nagitsune. I hope I'm saying that right because I can't quite remember how to say it. But that is a... Well, on the show, it was a Japanese demon that would... It first started off by possessing one of the characters and just causing all sorts of chaos and havoc. And later it created like a doppelganger of that character. Or maybe it didn't create it. Like I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head because it's been about a year since I've seen this, this season. That was just doing it for the lols, I guess. <laughs> like it just wanted to create chaos for chaos's sake. And the prompt is a chaotic category in your collection or something that is the biggest category. Now, I went with my skincare for this because I have a really huge skincare collection in general, but especially with serums, like it's really, really bad. So I chose a serum. It's a little one, but we have to start somewhere. And I'm working on a lot of serums right now, but I picked out a lot of minis, so... Just gonna have to roll with me here. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. It's a very nice kind of hydrating serum that you can get from the drugstore for like 30-ish bucks. We are starting right here. I got this in a kit last year around Christmas time because I bought one of their kits half off from Walgreens because these kits are like 60 to $70 full price. Oh, and I need to change my battery. I'll be right back. Hey, so I'm back. <laughs> uh, sorry I had to run away basically screaming. Uh, my battery is about to die and I didn't want to lose all the footage that I had recorded. Because if my battery dies while I'm filming, I lose whatever video it's on. It's just how my camera seems to work. Okay, so I think I was talking about this. Uh, for the Nagitsune, I chose the number 7 serum. It's a very nice serum, but... This one is starting about right here, so we don't have much to use up. And finally, so for Ghost Rider, something that disappears quickly. Uh, the Ghost Riders in the show, not like the Marvel Ghost Rider at all, uh, they would make people disappear. So just a quick little explanation. But I chose this, not realizing how big it was, but I don't feel like picking up something else. But when I do use a body spray, I can make it disappear relatively quickly. We shall see. But uh, we have the Body Fantasies Japanese Cherry Blossom. It is never, I think I've used it like maybe once. It's all the way up to here. So that is that. So that is it. And if I update on time the next month, 
I do think that I will have... I don't know why my camera just defocused. At least these two done. Maybe the Besame palette done. I do want to knock that out sooner rather than later. And in theory, I should have this done, but we shall see. So hopefully we will get some more roll-ins for next month as well. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye!